three D. Michael Four, um, out of all the figures we've seen, has the least in common with uh, with uh, Ryan Poser's uh, Ryan, um, in the sense that none of his uh, none of the phonemes or none of the morphs that are dedicated to phonemes um, have have mouth in it. That's pretty much the uh, the main difference. Um, but the way uh, a Michael is constructed, it makes it very difficult for a program to get him to talk. Um, but I've written, um, but I've included within uh, Talk Designer System a way to get um, Michael uh, for the talk and be compatible with um, Talk Designer. Your first um, step is to select uh, Michael. So then you go to uh, Daz, excuse me. You go to Daz, uh, go to Edit, and then Daz. Now this this process will work with both um, M4 and Victoria 4 as well. Uh, the first step, as you can see at the bottom of the um, Talk Designer System interface, is to create uh, new morphs. Uh, what this does is it creates morphs for uh, new morphs for uh, Michael's character to talk. Um, for some reason, uh, the talk designer just is not um, influenced by any of the original morphs. So you have to create new morphs. But when you do that, the mouth moves, but the teeth and the tongue don't move. So uh, that's where we have our second process, which I will explain in a second. But after we've um, done step one, we go to read, and now. All of the new morphs are entered into the interface and uh, are ready to be uh, converted into a file that Talk Designer is uh, compatible with. We click Assist, and then we go to the uh, Talk Designer. When we go to the uh, map files, we'll see that Michael Four's map has been created. Now, that's not the end of the story um, with Michael 4, and you'll only have to do this with Michael 4 and uh, Victoria 4. Um, unlike uh, other characters, uh, let me demonstrate. We select the uh, talk designer, and we already have a sound file selected. So we apply that sound file. Oops, I forgot to add the device. And we have that. The frames have been added, but if you notice, his teeth aren't moving. As I said earlier, for some strange reason, uh, the way they designed his characters is actually pretty robust, but it also uh, makes it incompatible with the uh, talk designer as it was. Uh, so that's where the second step comes in. The second step will adjust those um, the rest of the face. Make it in line with the mouth movements. So we select the second step, and you can't see off camera. Um, by the time um, I release this, I'll have uh, maybe a pop up that'll say that the process is done. Uh, but for right now, uh, basically the program is going through each frame and it's adjusting uh, the face. Uh, okay, the program is finished, and if we close out and we play you'll see that now the tongue and the teeth move accurately with the face. As a matter of fact, if we were to uh, make the head invisible, and we took a look at the tongue, and we just played it through, you can still put the teeth you'd see the that the face and the uh, moves and the tongue moves very, uh, accurate. very accurately. As you said, uh, that's why I love this character very impressed with this character um, and that's pretty much it again uh, oops, sorry again that process that um, we just did with the talk designer and with Michael is only a process you'll have to do with Michael 4 and Victoria 4 um, I go through the steps again um, let's pretend like we haven't already uh, done the read morphs uh, um, the, we go down to uh, Daz uh, M4 V4 we do step 1 you read the morphs and the morphs will show up in the, in the interface. We click assist and then you go to the talk designer and add your and add your uh, sound file and make sure you add the, uh, 
the Michael Four file, and then you click Apply, and then you will go back to Talk Designer, go to Edit, and then hit Step Two. Step Two is the is the process which goes through the frames and cleans up all the uh, information for frames for um, the face. And once you do, uh, Michael Four will for the first time be compatible with uh, Poser Four. I mean, uh, <laughs> with uh, Poser Eight. Um, I think and I hope that this tool will be very useful um, for your projects and if there are any characters out there that you find are not inherently uh, that don't work offhand with talk designer and it has its own dedicated uh, phonemes um, just give me a ring um, or drop me an email and um, uh, we'll start a dialogue and I will add that functionality it's just a matter of getting um, the talk designer to recognize uh, the proper phonemes and adjusting, uh, you know, the face and the tongue um, to get it uh, compatible with talk designer. A uh, Michael Four has uh, seven parts to the tongue, um, and then the lower jaw. Um, they're not all encased in one; they're all uh, con uh, connected, and they, there's a lot of dependencies, but they're not all one uh, structure. Um, so that's that's where the difficulties I think lie. Um, but with talk designer uh, assistant. Um, I have overcome those difficulties, found a workaround, and now Michael Four um, works um, very beautifully. Um, this has been Andre O'Brien for uh, Anakali Vision and Design, and this is the Talk Designer Assistant for Poser 8 Tutorial. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, this quick addition to the tutorial um, will show you how to get Michael Four to blink. Um, this applies to any character that has morphs that will close the eyes, but um, though that uh, that morph is not called Blink. Um, the talk designer is looking for um, a morph named Blink in order to close both eyes at the same time. So we're gonna create that real quick. We go to uh, the base morphs for Michael Four. Uh, we go to the eyes, open, close, and we set that value to negative one. That'll close his eyes. Then you go over to object and spawn morph. And we will name this morph Blink. Click OK. Reset eyes open close to zero. And we'll see that we've now created the Blink morph that Talk Designer will need in order to get this character to Blink. Uh, I already have, uh, we need to create, we read in this character. That was from a, a previous usage with the previous character. That I deleted, so we'll have to go through again and do step one over again. Read those morphs in, assist, and the talk designer will be ready. Um, as you see, I've ratcheted up the blink rate, um, the, the blink rate, so that we can get a good um, idea or see clearly that the blink is actually working. We close the talk designer, and the mouse should be moving. Yes, indeed. We go back to Talk Designer, go to Step 2, and wait for the process to be completed. Uh, process is completed. We then can close this out, and if we play this through, and he took with repeater. Again, and as you can see, um, and Michael is now playing. Very heavy. Uh, once again, but then he said, once again, this process um, of creating that blink morph to control both eyes closing is important if you want your character to blink during the uh, during the uh, talk designer process. Uh, once again, this is Andre O'Brien for um, Anakali Vision and Design, and this has been the talk designer assistant for Poser 8 tutorial. Thank you very much.